Done. And if the earth is warming, then maybe it's getting too hot. This is reasoning, right? Now the sun's very hot, so why don't we shoot a giant rocket into space that will provide as much umbrella cover as possible with huge solar panels, cover as much space as possible, and then have gamers or somebody keep it between the sun and earth all the time. So I don't know. I imagine that you would want it to be in orbit around the Earth, but then you would want it distant enough that I, I honestly am not a physicist or an astrophysicist. I'm just if NASA is going towards Mars, they're going in the wrong direction. The problem right now is the ice caps are melting. I mean, it's nice. Mars is a nice place to visit if you're into hell. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think also, I mean, yes, the sun is warm, but I think it's also a big, a big part of this is carbon emissions. Oh, see, sensible, sensible. But the people that handle carbon emissions don't seem to be sensible. So, did I pop I mean, your I think, argument? I no, think, I agree with you. Well, no, but I'm not just people in charge, everyone using it. I mean, it's... Oh, yeah, that's I true, too. Like too far gone. You think that it's lost, the planet's lost. No, I don't want to think that. Okay, so then let's not let it be the case. No, you're okay. I just, I, I use carbon emissions by using the bus and by eating food that is delivered to grocery stores and prepared at home. I don't know if my oven at home uses excessive carbon emissions. I imagine not. Nuclear power is the best power system to fight global warming that I know of because it is better than coal and it is more efficient and, and, and productive than geothermal. Yeah. So so praise nuclear. I mean instead of instead of fretting about Fukushima's and that kind of thing and thinking about three miles and all that, just squash that. I mean we gotta have a campaign for how great it is to be an atom visioning. So the next one and two yeah, so you're proposing that you're proposing. Um, I mean do you count factor in that? Honestly, my crazy proposal, the space umbrella proposal, is zany. It's insane. But the way I imagine it is we shoot something into space that we will constantly keep between the Earth and the Sun somehow. So it will have enough propulsion that it is moving to keep you know, between that orbit. So our the gravitational pull of the Earth is going to affect it, and it's got to be in orbit, uh, because there's no way once you get it between the Earth and the Sun <laughs> that you're going to control it. But if it's in orbit around the Earth, but it's at a distant enough orbit that it can kind of tread water. And, and like, uh, like, like if you had a revolving track... And, and you're, you're like a long distance runner, you're just kind of jogging to stay up with the track so you can stay in the same way because there are people in the fan, in the crowd, that are spitting spit pellets at, at the people inside the middle of the track. And, and that's, that's how I see these gamma rays from the sun. And we could soak up all those spit pellets and every once in a while that runner on the track will produce a giant amount of energy that could then be delivered to something that gets brought home. Right. But I like that because NASA's space umbrella program doesn't exist. And so... I, I just think that it... I don't, I mean, I don't understand how the science behind it would necessarily work. Neither like, do I. How would you control that? And also, how would you make sure that it yeah, doesn't yeah, yeah, yeah. cause more damage or... Well, so causing more damage, because you understand space is as damaged as can be. Space is ruined already. It's totally crappy. If you go, well, have you ever been to space? I have. It looked like this. Except it was more dark, it was more cold, and it was less fun. And, and I came back very quickly, and I'm glad that, no, i never been to space. Of course I haven't. Who's been to fucking space? You know, but do you see what I mean? Like, there's no damage that can be done to space. Who cares about it? And then the rockets that are sent out there... I disagree with that. You do? Yeah. 
you mean what damage can be so done? So what do you, what do you, uh, uh, oh no, I guess, I guess we could damage space. Yeah, I just don't, I don't see how, really. Yeah. It's just kind of spacey out there. I mean, I don't know. Do you, I mean, I don't think you know what's out there. Okay. Are you worried about spatial sprawl? You're just, you're just a sweetheart. You don't want to damage a damn thing, right? What do you study? Can I ask? My name's David. Hi. Um, I'm actually, well, I'm just in my English class. I'm going on a field trip. Um, English writing, and I'm actually looking into researching kind of the rhetoric of environmental issues. Wonderful. I just randomly came upon you. Uh, now, in English, there is a word. It is sometimes referred to as the N-word. What does that word mean to you? Um, in English, there is a word. It is sometimes referred to as the N-word. What is the definition of that word to you? What does that word mean to you? I haven't really thought about that. Do you think it could mean human? And if it did, do you think there could be rights associated with it and racism could be pushed back a little bit? I mean, I think it's a word that people like made up. So no, that's true. Of all it. words. Has their own definition of it. Um, and, and just for the record, the dictionary has a derogatory term for a black person as the primary definition. My favorite yeah. so far is the oppressed. Yeah. This is uh, Harlem Renaissance, James Baldwin. But actually, that's not even true. My favorite is the negaritarian definition of human. You know, nigger means human would be a wonderful thing because if people can start using it self referentially. They have, like, you know, what? I think I feel like they have. The who have? People who used it. To refer to themselves. And Not as often as they use it to refer to others, I find. Really? I have done that. I mean, I think it depends on where you live. I think it depends on where you live. True, but you know, you know that there's an AER distinction that they draw that's very important that some rappers sometimes draw. Now, other rappers are more, you know, ecumenical about it. How about this notion of niggering? I do that to the N-word. I'm humanizing it, right? You're, you're encountering it as human for the first time. That's niggering that word. But we could do it to any word. If we could do it to the homophobic F word, less homophobia. Now, I don't know what that word would mean, but I do know that Latinos do not deserve this system that behaves in this way. And so I want to pay respect in some ways to them by saying uh, that uh, the word wetback is a verb meaning to work very hard. And in that sense, I'm niggering the word wetback. And there are many others we could do that too. I mean, that's true. You can always, you know, however you use a word, I guess, defines it. Yeah. Like, rapism could be the people's movement to end rape. Like, murderism to end the foul crime of murder, But right? again, I guess, how do you control that? That's the big thing. How do you, how do you what? How do you begin and control that? Uh, you can't control it as much as get it so that if somebody says the R word rapist, you correct them and say, could you use the word raper? I don't believe that a raper has an ism that I need to go and study in philosophy class. Instead, I want to end rape. As a crime. Well, I don't think so. But you've changed the definition. 